Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to access your Raspberry Pi over the internet via SSH. And in order to do this, you need to enable port forwarding on your router. Now, I'll explain what that means in a bit, but I first want to tell you that this is kind of like a, uh, a sequel to another video that I just made about accessing the, this Raspberry Pi, uh, the website hosted on here over the internet. And it turns out that after going through the whole tutorial, um, that my internet service provider blocks port 80. And as you know, port 80 is the port that the HTTP protocol uses. So I wasn't able to, you know, uh, from start to finish successfully complete the tutorial and show you that this is possible to access outside of the network, my home network here. But I found out that my internet service provider does not block port 22, which you may or may not know is the SSH port. And um, that's what we're gonna do in this tutorial. We're gonna access this Raspberry Pi from an external outside of this network. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to do that with port forwarding. So um, the disclaimer here is that in the same as the last video, the steps, the actual steps for port forwarding are gonna be the same, all right? The, what we're doing conceptually is the same, but the, the router configuration, the menus and the buttons that you're gonna click are probably gonna be different from what I do on my screen here because you know everybody has a different router. Um, so that's just, I just wanna give you that heads up, uh, but as long as you understand the fundamental concepts in this video, then you shouldn't have any problem um, uh, setting up port forwarding, assuming that your internet service provider doesn't block any ports. So let's go ahead and show you that I'm able to access the Raspberry Pi locally on my local network. So I can do that with SSH pi at the IP address, which for me is 192.168.0.136. Once the password, and there we go. So we successfully log in via SSH on our lo local network to the Raspberry Pi. Now, um, the thing about, just to make, yeah, just to make sure that we understand what port forwarding is, basically, any requests coming into my home router here via the external IP address over port 22 are gonna be routed over the local network to a local device. And the local device is going to be this Raspberry Pi, which is gonna be identified by its local IP address. So we know the local IP address of this. It was 192.168.0.136. Uh, let's, well, we'll figure out what the external IP address of our home router is, and then we'll do the port forwarding. So let's uh, let's set that up. I'm gonna open up a, uh, a web browser here, and let's first look up what's my IP, and uh, what's what is my IP address.com will give me the IPv4 IP address, which is this right here. So 68992061455. We'll keep that in mind for later, um, but let's move on and access our router. So every router has a built-in web server associated with it, and we can access that um, via the IP address of the router. So for me, I know my IP address of my router is this one right here, 192.168.0.1. Um, I'll have another video about how to figure out the IP address of your router, which I'll link in this video here. Um, and then as far as credentials, it'll talk about what your credentials are for your router. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and log into my router. And in here, and this is the part that's gonna be different for everybody, uh, but I know for me, uh, you go to the advanced section here, and then you go to port forwarding. Uh, which it's already selected. And then unfortunately, uh, my ports are not configured on the router itself. My ISP wants me to configure them on their website for some reason, it's just the way it's set up. So that's how I'm gonna have to do the port forwarding. So I'm gonna click here, get out of my router, the local uh, router's login, and then now I'm on wifi.cox.com, and Cox is my internet service provider. So in order to access the port forwarding settings, I'm gonna go to my network here, go to C network, and then uh, advanced settings, port forwarding, and I wanna add a port forward. So um, just like the last video, I'm gonna pick the device that we're gonna forward to, and it's the Raspberry Pi, and it's gonna be a manual setup. We're gonna pick port number 22, whoops, 22 for SSH. We only need uh, the TCP uh, protocol, not, not UDP, 
uh, or both just TCP and then we'll click on next to add that and that port will be added. So um, just to verify that, so any incoming request to our router, which is has this external IP address, will over port 22 will be routed to this device on the network. So that's port forwarding in a nutshell. Now, there, there's this really useful tool, uh, canyouseeme.org. Um, so we're gonna check to see if port 22 is open and it looks like it is. So uh, according to this website, port 22, your ISP is not blocking port 22, so we can access it externally. Um, now with that in place, I'm gonna pick up my phone here. There's an app on this phone called Juice SSH, and Juice SSH allows you to uh, SSH into um, any, any type of server out there. So let's make a new connection here. Uh, let's do a quick connect, and we're gonna connect to Pi at the external IP address, which let's double check that it's right here. So it's 68.99.206.145. Hit OK. And it's doing the credentials authentication failure. Please enter the password for, for Pi. So I'll type that in. Hit OK, and there we go. We're logged into the Raspberry Pi. So I'll do an LS in here. Uh, you'll see that I have something called wp.txt. Let's verify that uh, on the local connection with the Raspberry Pi just to make sure we're looking at the same thing. And I got the password wrong, bear with me. Okay, so I also see a wp.txt in there. And let's just make a new file here. Let's do, um, just to test it out, hi.txt, you know, something stupid, hello. Okay, and now on the, connect it from the external. Again, let me remind you that uh, I am not connected to Wi-Fi, right? I'm only connected to uh, mobile data, 4G, LTE. And now we do ls, and we see that hi.txt on our server. So we're definitely looking at the same spot. Um, and that to me tells me that port forwarding has been enabled and it's working as it should. So um, with that being said, guys, if you have any questions about the content in this video, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe to me for more videos like this in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.